Let's update from 120.1 to 120.2. All right, we found us back in Challenge with more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be updating our fabric project over here from 120.1 over here, right? There you go to 120.2. Now, a very important thing is that two things are going to be broken and also going forward, because we're going to, of course, continue the series in 120.2, there are some quite significant changes in the coming tutorials. So if you choose to stay on 120.1, always be sure to check the descriptions of each of the videos that are coming after this. I'll try to make sure to always include the compatibility matrix thing in the descriptions, basically showing, okay, this video should be good for both 120.1 and 120.2 and so on and so forth. So do keep that in mind. But to update, what we need to do is we need to change to uh, these new values over here. We can basically just copy over the fabric version and the rest here is pretty straightforward. Basically here, we're going to go to 0.89.2, of course, 120.1. Let's change this to 2 as well. This is going to be a 22. This is 120.2.1. And then here we also have 120.2. That is pretty much all we need in the Gradle. In the Builder Gradle file, we're not really dependent on anything. However, we, we can also update to the Fabric Luma 1.3 snapshot right here. If the Load Gradle button appears, you can click on this. Otherwise, you can just open the window right here and reload all Gradle changes. Let this run through. Might take a couple of seconds or a minute or so. It should really not take too long, depending on how fast your PC is, of course. And once that has run through, we can then change the few things that we need to change. All right, here we go. Built successful in 12 seconds. And what are the changes? Well, the first changes is in the util, in the loot table modifiers at the bottom right here. Sadly, our suspicious sand, right? So we've added something to the suspicious sand. It no longer is possible. I have so far not found a replacement for this. The reason being, by the way, is as you can see, the originals, right? We can no longer access the pools right here because it has private access. You can see this is a loot table. If we go into the loot table class itself, you can see that this is now a private field. Now, what I've seen or what I've heard in the Fabric Discord is apparently this is just sort of an, an issue that has happened in like the last couple of versions of Fabric that somehow this failed to get access widened. So basically, this should be public. And this is probably going to be public in a future version of fabric. So if you're at like, I don't know, like maybe, you know, 89.6 or something like that, if that comes out in the future, you can, of course, check that in the fabric develop right here, right? Fabric.net slash develop, you can always check the latest version right here. That might already be the case. If that's the case, and it works, then you can, of course, keep it. Otherwise, I'm just going to basically select it and comment it out because I, right now, sadly, this is not going to work. The second point of order is in the data gen, and that is going to be the recipes. So the mod recipe provider, you can see you're going to be like, oh my God, this is crazy. This, this, what has happened here? Okay, this is actually not to worry at all. Basically, we just want to change this consumer here to a recipe exporter. Bam, done. That's it. That's all we need to do. We only need to change this one thing, and now everything here works again. So no worries at all. And that actually should be the two changes here. Let's actually just sort this and let's see if everything works, but I'm pretty sure that it should. And that is basically everything that we need. However, as I've said, there's a lot of other changes in the coming tutorials. So, you know, with mobs, there's a couple of changes with block entities, actually quite significant changes. So do keep in mind that, you know, going forward, the compatibility with 120.1 and 120.2 is a little bit in question. It is not as easy as you might think, but... Here we go. We're in our world. Everything, you know, we can play our music over here. We still have all of our items, right? We can still find ores right here. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And everything else over here also still works. So that is pretty freaking awesome. So there you go. That is, well, updated to 120.2. And in this video, we'll finally go over custom mobs. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.